Hi, Alexander. Another set of essays. Let's see what you did here. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. The following chart demonstrates the crop production in France during 2017. The following French produce is illustrated. Okay. You mentioned them. Good. By having the first glance at the chart, it can be said that the production of cotton was the biggest. All right. That's okay, um, although I would like you to use um, some different language. Basically, the biggest favor you could do yourself here is just to use the word overall. It's, it's kind of like this, um, it's, it's just a word that says to the examiner, look, examiner, this is my overview, so it's right here. I'm making it very clear to you. So just use overall um, rather than having this first glass of, glance at the chart thing. Okay, so um, overall, it can be said that the production of cotton was the biggest. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, it's, it's not a lot of information, but it's, it's fine. Now, when I say it's not a lot of information, I mean that don't write data, certainly not in your overview. But you could have said something like um, cotton was uh, the most produced, whereas corn was the least. Okay, that was one thing you could have said. Um, or you could have said that cotton was considerably higher than everything else. So something else. But I mean, it was fine. It was fine. I'm just, you know, looking at details now. Okay. Um, and I don't like this here. Just leave it out. Um, as it was previously mentioned. So just start out straight into cotton, okay? So get rid of all of this, and then let's just say instead, uh, cotton has taken the biggest part of the production. All right, now this is awkward. So instead, let's make it more IELTS language and say um, cotton was the most produced um, crop, okay? And then at 34.4%. Sugar and wheat were produced in relatively similar quantities, 29, huh? huh? Um, cotton and sugar were the two, mm, were t the two most produced crops. All right, I'm not really crazy about this. You don't need this here. I know you're trying to fill in your word count, but it doesn't really help you a lot. I think what would have been more interesting, um, was maybe just a little more analysis of this. So instead, let's change it around a little bit and say something like, uh, cotton was clearly the most produced um, crop, accounting for over one third of all crops produced in France in 2017 at 34.4%. Um, the second and third most produced crops were sugar and wheat. Um, at relatively similar quantities, okay, um, but each accounting for roughly um, one fifth of crop production, and then you can put the um, the details here, okay. So what you could see is that I'm adding a little more to this um, without being repetitive. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's see, the median production value. Um, I think you're trying to say what? That like somewhere in the middle, like around the fourth? I don't really know about that. The median production value among the shown crops has yielded barley. No, 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 no. This is grammatically completely off. Um, the syntax is, is wrong, and I feel like you're probably writing with the syntax of your native language. Um, but this is definitely not appropriate in English. So, um, we're now with the fourth most produced, aren't we? Because we talked about the first, we talked about the second, the third, yeah. So, um, further down in terms of produc production was barley at 18%. Out of all the crops, the lowest percentages, because it's not just one percentage, it's two, right? The lowest percentages were represented by rice and corn, uh, where the former was 3.5, referring to rice, and the latter was 1.7. Okay? So we have this expression here, the former and the latter, when you're trying to discuss two. 
All right, summarizing the above given information, it can be said that four out of six categories, watch your spelling, of crops were between, careful, 18, 34% and 18%, where the rest, no, where the remaining two, the remaining two only varied from 3.5 to 1.7. Okay, um, that's, that's fine. Um, I, I have a feeling that you struggled with this a little bit. You were really trying to make sure that you wrote 150 words. Uh, you didn't need a conclusion. It's not necessary because that's, you know, why we write an overview. Um, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. There's, there's other problems here that uh, concern me. A lot of the stuff with grammar, a lot of the stuff with syntax, a lot of the stuff with vocabulary. Um, so it needs to be revised a little bit, all right? Go ahead and make the changes that I've suggested, and let's look at your task two. Here it is. Okay, the same jobs. Let's see. The job as an everyday activity certainly takes the biggest part of our life. Some people stay in their current position at the same workplace until their retirement. Okay, contrast here. While... Others change jobs multiple times during their career. In this essay, I would like to elaborate more on why it is beneficial to switch jobs. Great, that's good. It is quite common that some people are afraid of change and the feeling of the unknown it brings along. That is why they might continue to work at the same place they used to for the last 10 years. All right, well, I don't know about this. Um, that is why they might continue to work at the same place throughout their career. Okay? So it's not just the last 10 years, because that's what the essay is saying, that um, for your entire career, and career is not just 10 years, all right? They will see the same people and do the exact ta same tasks without realizing how narrow their expertise has become. Wrong tense here. Um, changing jobs, plural here, can broaden the employee's horizons, plural, both in terms of improving professional and social skills. Okay. Okay. All right, let's move on, and I'll tell you my kind of more holistic feedback later. Remaining in the same position for many years can increase the chances of an employee becoming less competitive in the job market, as employees' position might become irrelevant. For example, comma, due to automation, employees as can face a risk of losing 1-0 their job, learning the industry trends, and aiming for a constant professional improvement uh -huh. Learning the industry trends and aiming for constant, no A, professional improvement, comma, the employee will eventually be forced to change positions as he or as he will reach a peak of the current job. All in all, changing professions is only seen unstable and risky on the surface when in reality it contributes to the development of numerous positive personal and professional sides of employees' character. An employee with a wide range of various working experiences can actively participate in the company growth on multiple levels by not only managing his responsibilities, but also helping his colleagues with his practical knowledge. Okay, I have an issue with um, how you developed this, okay? Um, and this is why I said I'll wait till the end. I wanted to see how you actually finished it off. Um, it's a little strange because you said that you think it's beneficial to switch jobs, okay? And then here, you focused on why some people choose not to switch jobs, which was fine. That was a good thing to do. But then all of a sudden, you talk about how changing jobs can broaden employees' horizons. You never analyze it. You just instead analyze the opposite side. And then all of a sudden, you were talking about um, how this is positive. So, okay, that was one thing. Then, um, Again, you talk about the negative side of staying in the same job. All right, and then um, you never talk about here why it's, I, I was just very confused. Then here all of a sudden in your conclusion, you start analyzing why changing jobs is beneficial. Your, your conclusion should never do that. Your conclusion should simply wrap up the essay, summarizing maybe what you've said, but all of a sudden you started analyzing the benefits of changing jobs, whereas this really belonged in a body paragraph. So what I wanted to see and how I would like you to develop an essay like this is 
first here, talk about why people stay in the same job, how it has merits, how it is um, understandable that some people choose to do this and the logic behind it. So why is this a choice that many people make and, and so forth, okay? Which you did, but then this was irrelevant, okay? Um, then this paragraph should have talked about how much more beneficial it is to switch jobs, why it's important, why we should do it, what we gain from it, and how, whatever, it's, it's the better perspective, okay? Then your conclusion should really just wrap everything up. Um, so analyzing the arguments above, uh, it is clear that um, it is uh, more beneficial to the employee if he has work experiences from uh, multiple employers. Um, in the future, uh, we will see that more people choose to take this path, okay? Something like that, and that's it, but never any new information in your conclusion, okay? So there were a lot of problems with the structure of this. I mean, what you said wasn't necessarily bad, but the structure was off, so that's really going to affect your coherence and cohesion score, Alexander, okay? Um, I know you mentioned something in your email about wanting to know how ready you are. Um, that really depends on you. I want to see what you do in the next uh, week or so. I want to see if you can apply all of the things that we're talking about. Um, and uh, especially in terms of structure, because you've now taken the course, you've seen what the structure of these essays is supposed to be like. Um, so I want to see you applying that. I did not see that structure applied here, okay? Um, now, here, uh, we already talked quite a bit about what some issues were. There were some syntax problems. Um, so it really depends on how quickly, if you're ready on the 25th or not, really depends on how quickly you can apply some of these things that we're discussing, all right? Uh, let's see your next couple of essays, and maybe we can um, revisit this question and, uh, you know, discuss it further and kind of give you some direction, okay? So go ahead and correct these, send them back, write new essays, and we'll revisit your essays, okay? Good luck.